Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi Mathematics. today we have a really interesting exponential equation, x square equal to 2 to the power x. And a lot of students may be saying, hey mister, this is very easy question, x equal to 2, 2 square equal to 2 square, and that's it. And I say, okay, this is a correct uh, like answer, you solve this challenge absolutely correct, but what about solution, how can you solve it, and are you sure that we have like only one root? Let's try to check it, let's try to think a little bit about this, about this question. First of all, let's apply natural log on both sides, okay, when we apply natural log on both sides, we will have like natural log x square equal to natural log of 2 to the power x. Right now, according to the main log property, this 2 will come down right here and this x will come down right here. Let's do the thing right now. So as a result, we have we have 2 times natural log, but absolute value of x. Don't forget about this because x can be positive, x can be negative. Don't forget about this. Equal to x times natural log 2, x times natural log 2. Right now, let's try to group our variables on the left side, our constant on the right side. For this, let's divide both sides by 2x, okay? When we divide both sides by 2x, we can easily cancel 2 from left side and our x will cancel from right side. So as a result, on the left side, we will have natural log absolute value x divided by x equal to natural log 2, natural log 2, divided by divided by 2. And right now we can easily we can easily solve it. But first of all, let's look at this absolute value of x. If we're talking about absolute value, we need to consider two cases. The first one when x is positive and the second one when x is negative. Let right now let's start when x is when x is positive. So x is greater than 0. As a result, we will cancel our absolute value of x. We will have like <coughs> natural log x over x equal to natural log 2, natural log 2 over 2. Right now, what is the main thing? How can I solve this question? I'm going to apply lambda w function, okay? I have a lot of videos about this lambda w function, and right now let's look at it once more. How can we apply lambda w function? This lambda w function looks like that. Lambda w function of this expression equal to, equal to a. So when we have e, when we have the same power of e and the same expression behind this e, as a result, we can easily simplify it and write that the, on the right side we have we have our a. Right now, let's try to create this type of expression on the left side. How can you do this? Instead of x, let's write e to the power natural log x. Okay, so instead of x, let's write e to the power natural log x. This is absolutely the same thing according to um, like um, natural log property. This is absolutely the same thing. So let's do this right now. As a result, we have natural log x. As I told before, instead of x, we're going to plug in this e to the power natural log x, e to the power natural log x, equal to natural log 2 over 2, natural log 2 over 2. Really great. What are you going to do next? Right now, let's bring this expression from our denominator to our numerator, because we don't need our denominator. Let's bring this expression, but with the minus sign. Don't forget about this. When we have like a, a to the power minus b, this is equal to 1 over a to the power b. And don't forget about this, that when we bring from numerator to numerator, we just need to put minus, okay? Doesn't matter, numerator, denominator, or numer a denominator, numerator, okay? Let's do this right now. So we have natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x, don't forget about this, equal to natural log 2 over 2. Really great. Right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have natural log x, we have, looks like the same thing, but minus natural log x, and we have e. On the first side, a lot of students can easily do this mistake because they say that this is a great expression for applying Lambert W function, but this is not the same expression in terms of, in terms of, you know, when we, when we can apply Lambert W function. Right here, we can't apply Lambert W function because natural log x and minus natural log x is absolutely opposite, opposite expressions. How can you create the same expression? We have minus natural log x, it's really hard and to create from here positive and it's not necessary to bring it from our numerator to the numerator. But when we multiply both sides by minus 1, just look at it. So when we multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have absolute or divide, doesn't matter. We will have like minus in the beginning, minus natural log x, okay, minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to this expression, but with the minus sign, doesn't matter, okay, minus natural log 2 over 2. And right now, minus natural log x, for example, just keep in mind that this is our a, and we have minus natural log x, this is also our a, just keep in mind it, yeah? And right now, a times e to the power a, just look at it, this is our lambda w function, so we can easily apply this lambda w function, let's do this. So lambda w function of this expression on the left side, so minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x, yeah, equal to, don't forget about the right side, so lambda w function of minus natural log 2 over over 2. Okay, really great. And right now, lambda w function of this expression, where this is absolutely the same thing, 
is equal to a. In our case, a, this is minus natural log x. So as a result, we have minus natural log x equal to lambda w function of minus natural log 2 over minus natural log 2 over 2. <coughs> minus natural log 2 over over 2. Really great. And right now, what we're going to, what we're going to do next? Right now, let's find our x from here. For this, let's uh, multiply both sides by minus 1. So when we multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have like natural log x equal to lambda w function, or not like a lambda w function, minus lambda w function, because we're multiplying both sides by minus 1. So minus lambda w function of minus natural log 2 over over 2. And the final thing, let's find our x. How can we do this? How can we find from here our x? Let's apply base of e on both sides or just look at this thing right here. So when we have, have base of e in this point, we have our x. So right now let's apply base of e. From here we have e to the power of natural log x. Yeah. When we apply base of e on the left side and we do the same thing on the right side. e to the power minus lambda w function of minus natural log 2 minus natural log 2 over 2. And right here, e to the power natural log x, just look at it, equal to x. So as a result, we have from here our x equal to, our x equal to e to the power minus lambda w function, and a really tricky move right here. Uh, natural log 2 divided by 2. From here, we can easily look like right behind this natural log 2, we can easily write 1 half. So we can write it like that. We can write it 1 half, times natural log 2, okay, right here, we can easily write it, and 1 half, we can write right here as a power of 2 according to a, according to a log property, so as a result, we can easily write it as minus natural log square root of 2, okay, according to, according to a log property, I hope you understand this step, yeah, we write this uh, 1 half behind this natural log, and then we write it uh, as a power of 2 according to, according to a log property, okay, so I hope you understand this step. And right now the final move, let's bring this from our numerator to denominator because we have the negative power. When we bring it, we have a positive power. So x equal to x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus natural log 2. Minus natural log square root of 2, yeah? Square root of 2. <clears throat> and right now a lot of students want to see the answers because mm, this lambda w function has a lot of uh, a lot of indices. So we can write it here indices and I find this absolutely find this answer for you because according to this solution, according to this uh, this part when x is positive, don't forget about about that that this x when x is positive, when x is positive, when we plug in this uh, this answer in our, our internet library, when we plug in this, we have two answers. So according to this looks like one answer, but according to lambda w function, according to these indices, we will have like x first equal to 2 and x second, x second equal to, equal to 4. Yeah, a lot of students forget about this, but we have right here our, our 4. So we have x first equal to 2 and x second equal to 4. And a lot of students <coughs> say that this will be challenge absolutely correct and they don't know about the search route but basically we have the search route and i don't want to solve this question once more when x is negative because we will have absolutely the same thing but but with the without the minus right here okay without a minus right here so these are x first and second but also i want to write x x third which is equal to we have right here what do we have if we're talking about x third we will have minus 1 over over e to the power lambda w function of natural log square root of natural log square root of 2. This looks like your homework. You can easily find this uh, find this answer. You can easily solve this challenge when x is negative. So this is when x x is negative. We are talking about <coughs> this solution. And <coughs> I don't want to solve it because it will be like a, a long and complicated video. You just need to, <coughs> sorry, you just need to look at this solution once more right here. But somewhere you have like uh, you don't have minus. Some sometimes you will have minus. You can easily you can easily go through the steps. But the main idea you have you can easily pause the video and go through these steps. And when is when x is negative, you will have this answer. I'm going to write it for you, and you will you can easily check it. But what is the exact value? What is the approximately value to this x third? And here's my solution. Here's my here's my answer. X third equal to approximately equal to minus 0 0.766. Right now we can easily see a graph, you can easily see these points of intersection. We have three roots, three points of intersection. Right now let's write our final answer, our basic final answer. 
okay? A lot of students think that x first equal to 2, this is one and only one root, but as you can see, x second equal to 4 is also a solution. And maybe 1% solve this question absolutely correct, and they say that x third equal to minus 0 0.766. Six. This is our minus 0 0.766 when x is when x is negative according to lambda w function we <coughs> we solve this we solve this question okay when x is positive two roots when x is negative one root and the main idea is lambda w function and <coughs> and step by step we we solve it so thank you everyone for your time see you in the next videos have a great day also thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for your likes for your dislikes thank you everyone when you when you leave leave a kind comment when you leave your your your, your, your response about this type of question it's also this is also a really great thing for you and thank you everyone for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day